Hi. So here you see the drug induced sleep endoscopy of a 52 year old female with a AHI of 24.3 but no obstructive apnea, no mixed apnea and it's only hypopnea. Uh, the clinical history is that she has undergone a thyroidectomy following which she developed bilateral abductor cord palsy for which laser arachnoidectomy has been performed around 20 days back and then she has been referred to us for management of her snoring and breathing difficulty in the night. So now her base is still around 85, 86, you can see the large tonsils. You can see the you can see her choking already. But that's on account of her vocal cords. You can see that there is a space on the right side. She was on tracheostomy and her tracheostomy has been removed just two weeks back. And you can see that she is unable to open up her cords. There is not enough space for her to breathe in spite of the laser arachnoidectomy. So this is at least at this level we are not seeing any complete collapse in spite of a large tonsil. And we can actually hear the sound of her snoring because of the vocal cords. Now you can see her obstructing, and because she only had hypopneas, she is completely explained by the no uh, small chink that she has. And then we can actually now see the collapse of the tonsils. But the major reason is still the vocal cords. Definitely the epiglottis is also collapsing, but it's not a complete collapse in the upper airway. Now we are seeing the tonsils coming together. We are also seeing the epiglottis now completely blocking, but her, this is her strider still present because of the vocal fold not opening up completely. So we still need to first, we can see a collapse of the tonsils here. That's snoring, so that's not too much. Our major issue is the strider rather than the snoring. So once we tackle the, we possibly need to perform a revision laser arachnoidectomy or a Casimas procedure, either with coalition or laser, and then we can possibly think in terms of a tonsil reduction. Thank you very much for watching.